Hi, I'm Tim. I am the Tinkering Turtle, and today we just got a quick video. We're going to do a quick product review. Um, as you know, on the Magicycle series, I put on new brakes, I clean them all off with isopropyl alcohol, I put in brand new pads, and I'm still having a lot of front brake noise from the new pads. So since I've done everything that I did in the previous video, and if you want to see the previous video, it's a video I did on the Hemiway Escape where those brakes were squeaking. I took off the brake caliper, cleaned off the pads, I cleaned off the rotor with isopropyl alcohol, I sanded it, I made everything clean, and it took away the squeak. Well on this bike that didn't work. So what's the next step? Today I'm going to try a product called Squeeze Out and it's a product that is for bicycles. It's an anti-squeak treatment for disc brakes and we're going to try that today on the front rotor and see if it solves the problem. Let's get to it. So before we get started, I want to say that this is not a sponsored video. I bought this product with my own money. I wanted to try it out for myself. What it appears to be is a paste that has a mild abrasive in it. And what you do is you stir it up, you put it on the rotor both sides, and then you take it out and you get going just sort of like you do with you when you bed your brakes. You get going 15, 20 miles an hour and you pull the brakes. Now everybody I've watched on YouTube about this has shown that the brakes will not work with this paste on the rotor. So don't do both brakes at once. Do one brake and let the other brake stop the bike. Otherwise you're going to be out there going 20 miles an hour with no brakes. So one wheel at a time with this. So what we're going to do, like I said before, I've got a popsicle stick. I'm going to stir it up really good. I'm going to use gloves because as I harp on every video, you don't touch the rotor with your fingers, otherwise the oils on your fingers will get onto the rotor and it'll foul the brake pads and you'll get noise, which I'm already having. So I've got the squeeze out, or squeak out, gloves, and a popsicle stick. What we're going to do is we're going to apply the paste on both sides of the rotor. We're going to take it out, ride it until, and we're going to keep squeezing the brake until we start getting some bite. So what's happening when we do this is I'm thinking there's a mild adhe or abrasive in here and it's going to wear the pads into the rotor so that they're even and there's no vibration. And that's where the squeaks come from, is from that vibration. And once the brake starts to bite, then we'll bring it back in here, we'll pull off the caliper, we'll remove the brake pads, clean them off with isopropyl alcohol, we'll clean the rotor with isopropyl alcohol, we'll reassemble, readjust, and we'll see where we're at. Let's get to it. So after reading the instructions, it says to stir up the paste really well. Which is a little messy. I don't want to get anything that's separated from sitting on the shelf, reintegrated. I can feel that it's a little gritty. And I think that's good. And again, I think that abrasive or that grit is what's going to wear the, the brake pads into the rotor. Okay, we'll take this. I'm just going to put a little on my finger. all the way around I don't think you need to use a whole bunch of this you can go pretty light on it and after you do a treatment if it hasn't solved the issue you can always do it again Looks like I've got the back side done just to get a little bit more on the front side. 
I will say this product cost me I think just under twenty dollars but as you can see we're not using a whole bunch so this should last a really long time okay let's go take it for a ride okay as I said before we're gonna take it for a ride get it up to speed I'm gonna squeeze that brake and see if it'll start wearing in it's quiet and definitely there's not much braking there yeah there's not a lot of brake there at all Ah, it's starting to bite a little bit. I've got about half brakes back. So now that I've done that about a half a dozen times, I'm starting to get brakes back. Let's take it back in the shop, pull the caliper, get everything cleaned up and see where we're at. So I'm back in the shop. I've got my bottle of isopropyl alcohol, 70%. I've got a clean rag. I've got my glove so I can take this off. In addition to that, I have a 5 millimeter Allen wrench and a pliers to get the cotter key out so I can remove the pads and clean them as well. So I'm going to start by removing the caliper. I've shown how to do this on the Magicycle Tectro Aries brake adjustment. I've also shown it on the Hemiway um, brake video so I'm not going to go into great detail on it. I'm just going to remove the caliper. Okay, I've removed the caliper. I need to remove the pads. Taking the cutter key out. Open up my isopropyl alcohol. Bring the pads out. Now, since the pads have a lot of gunk from the squeak out, I'm going to start with a, just a shop rag, which is basically a heavy duty power, paper towel. I can get as much of that off as I can. That way I don't um, mess up my clean rag so bad. And just give it a good, get as much of the black as you can off, all the extra creaminess. Now if this works, my wife's been complaining because she's got just a, a very slight squeak on her bike. So I'll probably go ahead and do her bike too. Okay, now that I've got the bulk of the, the stuff off, get a good helping of isopropyl alcohol on the rag and give the pads a good cleaning. Again, don't touch the surface of the pad with your fingers you don't want any oils on and you see I'm still getting lots of black off you want this as clean as possible okay, I'm not getting any more black off so I'm gonna call that one clean Give it a little bit more isopropyl alcohol I'm getting a lot of black off still I want to get as much of this stuff off as humanly possible. There we go. Now the black's starting to stop. You got a nice clean pad. Also, there's still stuff on the spring, so you're going to want to clean that off. This is the spring that holds the two brake pads together. Get as much of the debris and stuff off of that as possible. And then I'm going to reinstall the brake pads. Taking the cotter key, slide that through, and bend over the end. And the brake pads are reinstalled. Now I'm going to go ahead and go around the rotor and get as much of that stuff off as possible. And you may notice I've got a clamp down here and that's just to hold the tire in place for the video I usually wouldn't do that for a job like this that was just to help me stabilize the front wheel so that it didn't turn and move a lot 
lift up the bike, rotate the tire a bit. Again, just keep going around until you get all that debris off. Be sure to not to touch the rotor with your hands. Put the glove on the wrong side. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Now I'm gonna reinstall the caliper and readjust and we'll go see where we're at. If you wanna know how to adjust the calipers on the MagiCycle or the Hemiway, I will put links to those videos in the description of the video. It'll show you step by step how to adjust these to the rotor. Okay, let's take it for a ride. Okay, now that I've put the squeak out on the rotor, wore it in, cleaned everything off, readjusted the brakes, I'm gonna take it for another ride and see where we're at. And there's no noise. No noise at all, and I got full braking. So I'd say that using that product was a success. It may take a little bit uh, more time to wear in properly, but I think we're in good shape for now. I'm gonna call this one a win. I'm gonna probably try it on my wife's bike just to make sure that it works on that. If for some reason this product doesn't work, you can do a second application, or I would suggest in that situation even buying another set of pads and putting in and then doing it. That'll allow you to get a clean fit for the brake pad to the rotor. Hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions or concerns, drop me a link or a comment in the description of the video and I will catch you next time. I forgot to add, I'll put a link to the Squeak Out uh, product in the description of the video as well. It does help me because I do have an affiliate link so I do get a few percent off of each sale from Amazon. It helps the channel. If you want to help the channel, you can like and share, and subscribe, all those things. And if you really want to go to the next level, I've got a thank you button below each video. You can throw me a couple bucks if you want. All that money gets funneled directly back into the YouTube channel to get more quality videos out like this. Thanks a lot. See you later.